It's just a joke at this point, and there's no reason I've left that on. I did the same exact thing with my Tension SI. I just left it on for months until people bugged me enough and I took it off, but it doesn't bother me. I'm not really OCD. I guess you could say I'm messy, disorganized, but whatever. I hope those two things help you guys a little bit. Vivian's gonna come with me to a car meet tonight. Hopefully I meet a lot of cool people and convince at least someone to come onto the channel for a video, whether it's a review or whatever. But first, I'm gonna give this thing a big wash. This is filthy. I think she's looking pretty snazzy. Guys, I just got a message request on Instagram from this guy named David Para. Para. He said, I'm driving out from San Francisco to come say hi. That guy's dedicated. David, you're a you're a real one, brother. Fun fact, No Easy Way Out by Robert Tepper is actually my favorite song in the world. And it's been that way for, oh gosh, I don't know, 15 years? I watched all the Rocky movies one time when I was uh, in middle school and it got me into working out. But if you guys have seen Rocky IV, that part of the movie where that song comes on, unbelievable. It's emotional, man. Let's put her in sport. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I just drifted. Oh, I got that on camera. Holy smokes. It's gonna be a good night, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what those cars that saw me thought of that. Uh, who cares? I think I have time to pass this guy. I think... You know what? I think at 4,000 RPM, VTEC comes on. I know that sounds weird, but I will make a video soon. I was talking to John Vega about, like, how does VTEC work on the Type R? I don't want to spoil the video for you guys, because I still have a lot of research to do, but he said something very, very interesting. And if you guys don't know who John Vega is, he is the sole person behind the company called Fearable, which makes tunes for 10th gens. He's been tuning Hondas since the early 2000s. But VTEC on the Type R is dependent on several different variables of your driving conditions. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I know that almost everyone pulls up to meets like this really late. I'm probably gonna be one of the first few here. I'm just so eager to bring you guys this content, guys. I, ca I can't handle myself. Well, there's a C5 Z06. I'm gonna park very nice to this guy here. That is my type of ride. What's up, brother? I wanna talk to you about that thing. I met a friend here. This is Ryan. And this is Ryan's Tension Sport with the six speed manual. I told him, thank God he. You said it was hard to find the manual. Yeah, yeah. Because same motor as the SI, but you, they always come in the main automatic. So. Right. All right, so what do we have done to it? Not much, man. Literally just lowering springs, uh, Mishimoto uh, short ram intake, and then um, straight pipe from the cat back. Yeah, and then straight pipe from the cat back? Yeah. That's what that was? Yeah, that's why okay. it's loud. So I could hear you coming in, yeah. and it yeah. was, I and mean, it sounded good though. It's not overkill. Does it Does it get raspy when you, in the higher RPMs? A little bit. That's why I don't want to do my cat, I don't want to change the cat out, because I've heard it like it would be nice for the power game, but I know it'll it'll just sound way too rough. Yeah, man, I, I wish they would have made the SIs in this hatchback. It's a missed opportunity. Yeah, but, I know. But then they wouldn't sell as many Type R's. They wouldn't sell as many, that's the thing, yeah. Are you tuned at all? Not yet. No? I was waiting because I wanted, by the end of the summer, I wanted to get my intercooler. Yeah, intercooler is super important. Big time. Okay. Mine is supposed to come in before the end of the day today. It wasn't there nice. by the time I left, but. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to the guy with the C5Z06 right there. He got it for $17,000 with 50 something thousand miles. It's it's not modified, it's all stock. Really? Yeah. He says it was listed on Craigslist for 20, and he got it for 17, which blows my freaking mind. If I could find a, a Z06 after I sell the 9th gen for $17,000, I'm doing it. I would. Like, screw yeah. the Cobra, I'm gonna get the Z06. I don't know nobody here, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. Like, I don't ever come to these things, so I'm not, I'm not sure what you do with these things. I haven't been in one in like a year. It's been a long time. The last one I went to was this, uh, hard park meet yeah. and it was super awkward 
I mean, everyone just kind of like huddled together in their little groups and stuck by their cars and like wouldn't even talk to you. Yeah. I mean, I would I would walk by people and say hi, and get no response, like no acknowledgement. It's like, yeah. okay it's, then. It's hit or miss, that's for sure. Yeah. Right. So weird. Like, why do you come to these things if you're not interested in talking to other people? That's what I'm saying. They're gonna buy the new Z and swap the transmission into the GTRs so that GTRs can be manual. Oh, shit. That would be amazing. That's gonna change games. <laughs> hey man, low key, I really do want someone to act stupid so I can get it on video. They're going to, with, and it's usually the guys with the V8s. Yeah. It, and it's usually a Dodge, I hate to be like that, but... It's, it's usually a Dodge? Oh yeah. It's not oh, yeah. the Mustangs? It, no, it's either a Mustang or it's a Hellcat. It's one of the two. So this is David right here. I told you guys David came all the way from San Francisco. <laughs> You get a downpipe too? Downpipe, front pipe, catalyst, all the way. Oh! <laughs> this color does look good on the Type R. Dude, so you really came all the way from San Francisco? <laughs> yeah. Dude, what I the was heck? Like, you know what? I'm gonna just make the drive, why not? Do you mind being on camera? No, I don't mind. Okay. okay. We need to hook you up with some Unity Performance side markers, man. <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell you. Uh, Unity Performance is coming out with. What the heck is that, man? Hums is gonna, I was talking to him, he's gonna send them to me first so I can make the video on them. You guys will know what I'm talking about when it's happening. What else do you have? 66 Mustang, with the, this, I'm trying oh, to get the word. 302, yeah man, it's been, it's, that thing's like full restoration from the ground up. Pipe. It was nice meeting you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. This is just the white brake that are. Hi. Oh, shit. Hey, man. Oh, my God. Was that the Camaro? Oh, so Genesis. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that smells awful. Wow, that's that can't be good for you, man. Yeah, there's there's some crazy stuff that happens in Sacramento. I mean, I know, we're. That's the Supra. Supra. <laughs> Whatever that is, it's so quiet. <laughs> V6 Challenger, boys. Today is April 6th, and what a beautiful day. There's Vivian's Jeep. So I'm on my lunch right now. I'm doing Airman Leadership School virtually at my house, which is pretty nice. I won't have to drive a base for, geez, another four weeks. But I have a lot of things I need to open up 
that I've accumulated and I've just been so lazy. I've been meaning to record these unboxings on video, but we're gonna do it right now. So some of these are from subscribers and one of them's from John Vega that I've been telling you guys about. Wow. This first one right here is from Ethan. And I met him when I was in Nashville, the day I was leaving Nashville when I picked up the Type R. And he messaged me after, he said, hey man, I want to send you some stuff, like what are you into? What are your favorite uh, Pokemon characters, Dragon Ball Z, stuff like that. So he's, <laughs> look at this stuff. That's so cool. Binge Tokyo. Oh, this is an air freshener. That is so cool. I haven't seen Dragon Ball Z since I was a kid. Is this Goku? Oh God, please don't yell at me in the comments. Charmander, Pikachu, and Charizard. I'm very basic. Again, I haven't seen these shows since I was like a kid, so. I remember my mom taking me to the Pokemon movie when I was a kid, what was that, like 1999, 2000, something like that? He said, Cam, congratulations on the new Type R. It was great to meet you, wishing you all the best. If you're ever in Nashville again, hit me up. With love from the Binge Tokyo fam, Ethan. Dude, what an absolutely good guy. You know, this is all very fitting because tomorrow is my 26th birthday. 20 freaking six. Okay, so this is from InShane Designs. I don't know if you guys watch Street Speed 717, but I, I mean, I bought this, he didn't send it to me. Got a little American flag patch because I like to enter in his car giveaways. I think this is the giveaway for the C8 Corvette, which I did not win. But just like probably a lot of you, I will continue to enter to win these cars because it will be a life changer. So I'm pretty sure this is from Mario. The video where I recorded the first detail, or the it was basically just a wash and a wax on my Type R. I got a lot of people trying to help me out um, and to help me improve the way in which I wash my car, which is great, I, I appreciate it. That video definitely had its criticisms, but I think they were mostly constructive. Mario messaged me and he said, hey man, I have a foam blaster that I would like to send you. And also, he threw in some Chemical Guy Synthetic Quick Detailer. I'm gonna try that out. And what is this stuff here? Chemical Guy Citrus Wash and Gloss. I'm excited. We're gonna try this Foam Blaster out this week. Dude, this is awesome. Thank you so much, man. This is so cool. <laughs> Didn't have to do that. So this one is from 9th Gen E, but this, is something I've been wanting to show you guys. Oh, okay, this is a tire pressure monitor system defeat for 2012 and 13 Honda Civics. I'm definitely gonna plug this in when I give the detail. And then I'm gonna take it out and floor it in first gear and make sure that we do spin because sometimes we do like to spin. In case you guys have forgotten, I did buy Walmart tires for the 9th gen right when I bought it. So first gear is useless in that car. Launching it is useless. This one is from Jeffrey. Jeffrey bought my 2020 Civic. I think that was back in January. But yeah, the whole time that I was talking to him about the car, he was asking all these questions about it, uh, organizing you know, his trip up here to buy it. He never said anything about watching my video. So I assumed that he did not know me from YouTube, which is perfectly fine. But it turns out he did. And he said he came with a gift. Oh, this is cool. Dude, it's a little, it's a little cubby to put a bunch of stuff in in the car. Next time I get around to the Type R, I'll put this in. That's so cool. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. And I'm sorry for being so lazy and waiting all this time. I don't want to seem ungrateful. I'm just, I really do have a problem with laziness and procrastination. Like procrastination is my biggest problem, probably. Jeffrey, I want to hear from you, man. If you're watching this, I want to know how the SI is treating you. I'll save the one from John Vega for last. When I installed the Acuity Cold Air Intake on the 9th gen, that was months ago. In that video, I said something along the lines of, hey, if anyone wants to send me like torque wrenches or whatever they're called, I'll gladly accept them. And I had a really nice guy message me afterwards and, and, and said, hey man, uh, I want to see your channel succeed and I want you to have good tools to work with, so I'm gonna send these to you. Ratcheting wrench, oh, that's what that, ratcheting wrenches, that's it. Oh yeah, look at this. Yes, please. Look at all of those. Oh, dude, I'm absolutely pumped to use these. Thank you so much. That brings me to my next point. Give me one second. 
Oh yeah. The Purell intercooler for the Type R and the charge pipes has arrived. The charge pipes are in another box in the living room. And this is a very important modification before you do another thing that I'm about to do as well. You see, when you tune your car and you up the boost, you're gonna be making a lot more heat. My man, John Vega, just released a new tune for the Type R, and it put down this much horsepower and this much torque, which is pretty crazy. Good job, John. I absolutely loved the Fearable Stage 1 tune, Stage 1.5 for the SIs. John called me up a few weeks ago and we talked a lot about tuning tangents and the Type R specifically. And he said, uh, hey man, I want you to run this tune. I'm gonna hook you up, I'm gonna send you a flash bro. It's exactly what he just did. Fearable.net license plate frames. Thank you, John. Okay, here it is. A brand new Honda Flash Pro. And yes, for the Type R, you do have to unlock the ECU. Honda does unlockings over the internet. So this is the device that you need. Again, I feel like kind of a bum for waiting so long to open all those things, but, but also one more development before I let you guys go. MN Performance just released a new exhaust for the Type R. I know I placed an order for the AWE exhaust, but people always love to see videos on new parts. All right, I'm gonna get back to class. I'm gonna try to edit this up and have this out by 5 p.m. tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.